so dear friends, we are closing in on the top 3. Now we have these 3 contenders left. The Shit's Money, the Musical Fidelity V90 LPS and the Cambridge Audio 651P. Which of them will take the third spot? Some of you have emailed me and guessed correctly. It is the highly capable Cambridge Audio 651P. Let's go! Being ranked amongst the four competent and enjoyable phono stages within the second performance tier in this mega review and shootout, we shall now uncover its star qualities and understand why it has been a popular favourite amongst many of us. Audio 651P manages to inch ahead of the Newton Pluto in two main areas. Firstly, guitars, brass winds, and pianos are just more involving with the 651P than the Pluto by virtue of the 651P's ability to draw out and convey more detail and micro harmonics from instruments. area where the Cambridge is clearly better than the Newton is the bass. Listening and testing AB-wise between these two models, you get a clear sense of better energy and dynamics with the Cambridge. Other than that, bass extension and the start-stop ability are the same for both models. Symbols just like the Uton Pluto and the Riga Phono MM Mark II are an easy listen. Says, so when you get down, come over here. I'm gonna tell you how to be a star. However, treble extension is a 5.5 upon 10 and coupled with just an above average rendering of detail and harmonics, one will not experience that ethereal air and ambience around instruments. Fulfilling everybody's basic requirements of a coherent and balanced mid-range, the Cambridge is easily enjoyable, be it with male or female vocals. Sibilance free too. juncture, the Riga Phono MM Mark II is the lowest ranked in this second performance tier by virtue of its slight boominess in the bass and having that slight mid bass hump. The U-turn Pluto battering the Riga by showing more maturity, avoiding that mid bass hump and having more concise 
base start-stop ability and control. However, the Newton loses out here to the Cambridge due to the Pluto's shyness in base energy and dynamics and with the Cambridge equal to or slightly better than the Pluto in all other sonic parameters. Drum roll! Next week, the runner-up will be showcased and as such, the champion will be made known of course. Thank you friends for sticking with me in the past 6 weeks. I'm very grateful for your time and encouragement along the way and I want to take this opportunity to especially thank all of you friends earlier this year for supporting me in my Group A and Group B cartridge reviews and suggesting to me and backing me up on this mega phono stage reviews and shootout series. See you friends! So this will never be accurate. So this is the sound of the